It's content day. Hey guys, make sure you guys I don't like, like comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Drink of water, guys. <laughs> Fucking cold. Oh my God. Imagine you got jeans on, girl. I got these my freaking shorts. But you know what they say? Thoughts don't get cold, baby. <laughs> just about anything because you care about yourself enough to let go and let things that are not for you go um, but you have to kind of want to care for yourself for that actually so we're gonna talk about letting go next week this this vlog is gonna be about loving yourself perfect um, yes. speaking of loving yourself I think I'm gonna go ahead and get my margarita because I think that's how I love myself um, <laughs> Can I order the mango pomo margarita, please? Yep. Is this a um? Is this a salsa? Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you have cherry for, as well? Uh, I'll take the cherry coke. Cherry. Yeah. Is, uh, I don't that's have cherry coke. You have the little. I have grenadine. The grenadine. Yeah. That's okay. That's, okay. that's okay. perfect. And can we start? Uh, can we get a starter of uh, the queso Loreto? Yeah. With the ground, which is it good? It is. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna get that. Okay. Thank you. 
Yeah, the last time I came here, the sauce was a little bit more crisp. Yeah, it's, it's like brown. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. It's good. It's a very good brown salsa. You guys want to see it? It's kind of spicy. Yeah. I've never like seen very brown. Never seen salsa this color. But it tastes phenomenal, though. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So we're gonna save my angle for next week. I think the perfect one would be to guys. I'm sorry, I don't have my notes. I forgot which order I had it in, but it's definitely loving yourself for the first one. I don't know. I feel like self love is such a concept that everyone talks about, but no one actually implements. Um, so I feel like for our discussion for our loving yourself, it needs to be very, very focused. Um, only because, like I said, it's a topic that everyone goes like, we need to do, we need to do, but no one actually ever shows you how to love yourself. So no one can give them a good example of how they love themselves. And it's not just the self care. It's kind of got a weird texture to it. Yeah, and it's kind of hot too. Yeah, I forgot you're not. <laughs> My taste buds came from the depths of hell. I can eat just about anything that's spicy. Get that lemonade. But back to conversation. Drink the water, guys. I'm over here trying to be cute and shit. Ain't gonna spill the goddamn. <laughs> I feel like the best way to be cute while eating is to forget that you're trying to be cute. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like when I overthink or I think, oh, I got to eat cute, I never end up eating cute. But if I just eat and focus on like being cute, you know, yeah. eating cute is nothing but eating meat. So if you focus on your mouth and eating meat, you'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, so let's get back to the discussion. Yeah. So, what is self-love? The Google version of it. Self-love is a state of appreciation for oneself that goes from actions that support or our physical, psychological, and spiritual growth. Um, self-love means having a high regard for your own well-being and happiness. Um, self-love means taking care of your own needs and not sacrificing your well-being to please others. That last part, we're gonna touch base on that. That last part, um, not sacrificing your well being to please others. Definitely need to discuss that because that is something that no one ever discusses. Boundaries are such a key part into self love, guys. If you don't ever set boundaries for yourself, you're never really gonna ever truly love yourself. Boundaries play a huge impact on that. Definitely. Um, Y'all, look at this kitchen. We definitely said fuck the salsa. Because <laughs> I don't know what that was. I ain't like that. The different types of boundaries, there's multiple types of boundaries. Um, like your personal boundaries, what you set for yourself. The boundaries you set in relationships, like your intimate relationships. The boundaries you set with your friendships. She should start eating two can of huh? <laughs> Definitely. It's coming. Life with Colleen. I <laughs> know. But setting boundaries will take you a very, 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 very long way. It took me a while and it took me a lot of different, you know, situations, different things that I had to learn from to know what my boundaries are and to. It was tasting like Velveeta cheese. Yeah. I will honestly say I do love myself but I struggle with boundaries and realizing that is something that you also have to be fully aware of we're not saying you have to be perfect right off the bat with learning and setting your boundaries because you don't honestly, have to be super frigid with them honestly, it's, it's hard gonna, honestly, it comes with time it comes like a, with the, and I feel like even once you learn how to set boundaries Ten years from now, the boundaries you set for yourself that you may think, you know, are the best boundaries for you may be drastically different from the boundaries that you set, you know, ten years from now. Like she said, there's different types of boundaries to set, whether it's with family, relationships. Like, the boundaries you set for your high school boyfriend are not going to be the same boundaries you set for your husband at 30 years old. Like, come on now. 
club. But loving yourself. So we just touch base on boundaries. Let's get into loving, loving yourself, yourself with those with, boundaries. Yeah. So loving yourself with those boundaries means, for example, if you are absolutely not feeling a day and somebody calls and they're like, let's go here and there. Let's do this. Learn to say no. I struggle with that. I struggle with saying no. She does struggle with saying no. Especially to people that I love or I care about. Do I feel like if I say and no, you just so they love me any less? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh. So cute. I have something to add to this. Very monumental. Um, I was on TikTok one day. I was going through my inspirational quotes as I do in life. You are. Um, <laughs> I love my self affirmations. And one thing that was really big for me was that the five people that you keep around you, or the people that you keep closest around you, are going to set these five boundaries for you your morals, your ethics, your beliefs, your goals, and your weight. Like, yes, your actual physical weight. They're going to affect those five things around you most. So I try to look at my life as a concert, and I tell everyone else to do the same. Certain people you have backstage, those are your ride or dies, your people who you're always going to look out for, who are always looking out for you. They are always, always, always in your corner, even if they're giving it to you real and they're like, I don't agree with you. I like you. Those are your people that you need to have backstage. Now, figuring out who's in your backstage is very crucial, but then you also have people on your main stage. Not necessarily good enough to get in the backstage but they are there for you they're front and center stage they're rooting for you they're cheering you on but they have other priorities of their own then you have some people in the middle they are watching you they're not really watching you they care about you they don't really care about you like your Instagram friends that like your picture but never really you know high school people people you leave and pass on throughout life then you have the nosebleeds they are in the nosebleeds for a reason they are far up away leave them in the nosebleeds where they belong they can't see you they can't touch you they can't be around some people that y'all have some people y'all have in y'all's backstage need to be in the nosebleeds for real some of the people y'all claim rooting for y'all Really not rooting for y'all for real. Really being on um, your okay. and I'm telling you, exactly. like, loving yourself also comes with removing dead baggage. Well, keep in mind, removing dead baggage does not always mean cutting a person off. You don't have to go cold turkey from a person. You can shift them around at the concert. Some people who need to be in your backstage don't need to be in your backstage you need to be in the front row. Some people in the front row need to be backstage. Some people in the middle need to be. I don't know how I feel about this game. I don't know. The cheese is like Velveeta, but the meat is good in it. I don't know. I don't like the combination, but I feel like I don't know. I do know that it is still cold. It tastes like 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 sharp cheddar, but it could have been mild. That was very descriptive about cheeses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know my cheeses. How about that? I'm a cook. If you know, you know. But. It looks so good. What, what is it? Do you know what this one is? It's the Rieno Camerone. What's in it? It's a stuffed poblano. It's this guy right here at the top. But it's a stuffed poblano pepper with all the ingredients that it reads off right there. And then it comes on a bed of street corn and cilantro and rice. That sounds so good. It's this guy right here. Okay. Like is it really good? Huh? I've really never good? had it, but that's just because I'm not a seafood yeah, person. Okay. But, it's, but it's our most popular seafood. I feel like I would rather you try the... You have to. It's the reason why you came here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it spicy at all? Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Um, honestly, I'm going to get the same thing. But can you add a side of black beans for me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I have a side of black beans too. You want a side of black beans as well? It's actually really good. Do you want to try it? 
got me messed up last night. Uh, 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 I don't like how she's lying to y'all. <laughs> I don't not like how she's lying to y'all. Where my cold crab? Oh, crap. <laughs> we got wrapped up in conversation. But all in all, all in all, guys, no, for real, like, get close. Because I'm close. Get close. I'm close. For real, for real. The young ladies out there, especially my young ladies, because you guys are who I'm really talking to. The ones that don't really have much experience with life. I know I'm only 22, but I, I've been through some shit. So, really, really listen to me. Oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be looking at this. Not myself. Really, really listen to me. Love yourself. Be for yourself because when it's all said and done and everybody's gone and you're, you're alone, alone you only have you yeah people may you know say that they care they may say but people switch up all the time and i've been in some shitty situations probably even recently that if i did not have self-love out of out of crash. You know, I I probably, you know, dropped in a pot for a little bit. But I ain't sold with a car. So love yourself. Practice loving yourself. Put yourself first. Put yourself before anything and love yourself. So I'm about to close out this vlog a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys the food when it gets here because it looks really, really good. Um but I'm gonna close out the vlog because me and Kali about to talk shit. You can't talk shit on YouTube. <laughs> Who said I was gonna be doing anything? I'm <laughs> about to talk shit. But I'll see you guys on next week's episode. I don't know what order I'm gonna put this vlog in. I'm still kind of figuring that out as well. But I will see you guys. The editing team will get it together. Her. <laughs> but. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next clip. Bye. Thank you.